Hello, welcome back to one of my videos. Um, I'm going to put some courgettes in, um, green bush. Right, so first thing is, I'm going to uh, put some finely sieved soil in the tray. Like that. And shake it both ways, level it like that. And then I want to use this little gadget I found on eBay. It's called a Pro Dib, um, made out of recycled plastic. And it's got about 20 odd holes, 18 to 20 holes. Um, so I'm going to give this a bash. So we're going. So what I'm going to do with this pro dip thing, I'm going to press it down like that. And as you lift it up, it makes nice, evenly spaced holes. So what I'm going to do, and then if, if they're spaced out better, it saves you having roots intertangled when you're trying to prick them out and stuff like that. So let's get some of these seeds. So the tip most most size seeds, so you just pop them in the hole like that. The beauty of this is it's uh, it makes them evenly spaced out as well. If they're a bit too big, the seeds um, you can use it for all sorts: sweet corn, peas, beans, these courgettes. But if they're a little bit tight in the hole, just just touch them with your finger like that, or like in my case, sausage fingers. Just touch them like that, pop them in, a couple more. We can't get enough courgettes, we grow loads at our house, it's uh, something we use a lot of fried with a bit of salt and pepper and olive oil, fantastic. Now there, that's, like I say, they're a little bit tall, uh, just poke them, like a little touch with your finger like that, just below the surface, won't do them any harm. But the beauty of that dibber is it's evenly spaced now so when I go to prick these out with the dibber to lift them out they're not going to be intertangled with the roots or everything they're going to come out quite easy just get some more sieve soil now just spread it on the top just shake it about like that spread it tamp it down a bit like that and then instead of watering with the watering can rose pack it'll blow the soil off just spray gun and it also compacts it down a little bit better with the uh, with the spray of water Give it a good spraying all over good soaking like that now these I'll put on my heated bench um, but this time of year if you can if you've got a warm greenhouse or a windowsill they'll take about 10 10 days 15 days to germinate but on a heated bench they'll probably be showing within say eight to ten days label them so you don't know so you don't forget what they are um, and there you go, courgettes. As the next video I'll show you pricking them out and actually planting them outside. Thanks for watching, thank you. If anybody's interested in one of these Pro Dib Dibbers for the seeds and stuff, I'll put the link uh, where I bought this one from on eBay at the bottom in the comments. Um, like I say, it's a cracking little thing, I just, where have you been all my life? <laughs>